Broken pelvises, everything here. Holy fuck. Come on, get up there. Up. We're gonna pull cedars this morning. That's our plan here, I guess. Come on. Now they'll run around in the straw. See? Told ya. <laughs> I love it when you got 17 fucking seasons in one year. Are you coming here in video or what? We got full seeders today. Now that they're in there, I always dispose of these good. Do not really want the dogs to be chewing on them. Then we give, uh, Two cc's estimate. Probably shouldn't be eating it, but 
We'll get pregnant this way. Get up. There we go. Extra maiden. I'll give her some tail adhesive. You want to grab me a sticker? <laughs> Hair up a little bit, put on the good glue. Mm. Extra temp pads. It looks pretty good if you use tail adhesive. Warm it up with your hand. So it sticks nice. It's always better when it's warmer outside, but I don't know what the temperature is today. Minus 10 this morning? Or what was it? Yeah, I think it's minus 14 or something when I got out here. Okay. Well, <coughs> done. You can go out. So we're doing a seven day, seven day time day I with these girls. So we put, uh, Put the cedars in and give them a shot of uh, gonna breed last weekend and today's Saturday and then we're gonna breed on Monday. So Lakeland shoot it makes things a lot nicer when they want to move sometimes they don't move very good all right time uh, we yank that out please girl don't kick me don't kick me girl Woo! there we go we gotta repeat this process about what eight more times yeah Like that. Another two CCs. There we go. In the muscle. There we go. Tail adhesive. Maybe that other pepper will turn around by the time we're ready, okay? You guys are frost back this time in the corner here. Holy. Right. We can fluff the tail if we want to. We got the geese of right here. I'll get it. We'll get that later. <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? Oh, there it is. Oh, look, it's taking half the moth. Somebody set something on here, I bet you. And I bet you it wasn't me. Oh man. Those ones might be fucked anyway. Oh, there we go. There it is. Alrighty. Extra tech pad. Like I say, you gotta warm these up because they, uh, especially if it's cold outside, they don't like to stick very good. But and we got the tail adhesive on there. Looks good. If you're wondering what this is for, it's for when they start riding each other. The little black spot on there turns bright orange. Like it'll turn the same color as that extra te extra tech riding, and then it tells you that they're in heat. They've been riding each other. All right, we'll uh, keep going here, and we'll bring you back later. Oh, good you. Well, we got the uh, cedars in or out, I mean, and uh, Astra made it the old girls, young girls, the old heifers. And uh, we're just trying to get in here without squishing a calf or, you know, running over a cow like this. Get out of the road. 
straight pipes save lives, they say. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna dump this in here, hopefully. Get it up there a little ways more. Put it up here where you can see. Oh yeah, they'll like that. They'll like that. Yes, man. No, uh -huh. make sure I don't run over the boy. 1A, you're gonna cab soon, I think. Hanging out by herself. It's kind of the wrong uh, pen to start videoing on, but oh well. <laughs> That's how she goes. So Ferd and Uno are now together. And uh, Uno thought he was tough. So Ferd gave him a nosebleed and uh, that was it. Fucking done deal. So that's kind of good. Anyway, we're going to AI those uh, heifers that we did here uh, this morning. And uh, put it back into a separate pen and then... I think we're gonna AI them and then use titanium as a cleanup for the reds. And then we'll use, uh, we'll use our 50 elbow. Uh, he's a mind bender. Uh, he looks really good too, so we're gonna use him on the blocks for cleanup. We're gonna AI to uh, Growth Fund and Spartacus. So I'll be good. Hey Flint. So now we got one more bucket of silage dump in the cow pen there. Uh, we moved a uh, list. Well, I tried to get this all in video for you guys, but uh, Terry phoned and then my fucking phone died. So and that's how she goes. I thought I had it plugged in last night, but the kids were farting around and uh, plugged the wrong end in. It wasn't even plugged into the wall. So, oh well, that's how she goes. But yeah, I'm gonna go get one more bucket of uh, mixed feed for the last feeder in the first pen and then uh, I gotta grind this silage bale up in the bunks here and I'll show you what I got going on in there when I end up back here well we're back so we put Ferd in with Uno and it was a bull fight that Ferd won Oh fuck you oh, all man this guy's so sweet. Anyway. Beat up Uno and uh the young guy doesn't think he's tough anymore, so that's that. Uh these girls over here are the uh heifers that we just fuck you can't even see, but anyways, these are the heifers that uh we just put the stickers on, pulled the cedars, give them some master make. And down here we kind of screwed up a little bit but I think it'll work out we got it fixed up anyway got some canner bulls here a couple in there these are all good guys bulls for sale bulls for sale Yay. just chowing down these guys here our, uh, we put Peterbilt in there, our shoe bowl from last year, in with a steer. Fucking steer. Oh, steer's gay. Anyway, that's how she goes. Got titanium here, and then Simon. These guys are in this two pen. So, once we get the red heifers from the far pen AI'd, I'm gonna split the reds and the blacks, and he's gonna uh, cover the reds. And then I got a young black bull and that next pen over that's gonna that's gonna uh, cover the black so the mind bender bowl so I'll be good and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so I'll probably uh, leave this video separate or I mean I'll stop it now and then I'll uh, uh, stick in the eyeing there on uh, Monday so should work good oh it looks like I got to delete some footage on the old phone here getting a little bit full of the old SD card. <laughs> nice. Spring's coming around the corner, I hope. Had a big melt and well, now it's back to fucking minus something. Minus 15 or something this morning. It was a little quite chilly, so oh well. 
lot of gravel in the yard though sure made a huge difference nice and solid It's actually fairly dry back here this year. Hard to believe. But, oh, it's not even froze. Holy, things are looking up out here, boys. You know, I really had a plan of getting a gate put up in here, but uh, it didn't work out. Maybe one day. So we're gonna shut this panel. So all we're doing is getting ready to breed these heifers a day. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be good, I hope. So, let's get that into there. Then I can't kick that out, so set you up there somewhere, I guess. Still got eight cows to calve yet. Don't know what the hell they're doing. Taking their sweet time. Oh, the wires froze. That's nice. There we go. Put this up here where I can work with it. There we are. Come on. Come on. There it is. So, this is really a kind of a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. Oh, that's why it won't go, because my phone is there. <laughs> Uh, just trying to jam the phone up. There we go. Oh. Time this wire here real quick. Now oh, they shouldn't be able to get through here. They seem to always want to just hang out by this gate until I run them up, but it should work, I guess. Uh, okay, that's ready to go, I think. Yeah, and I gotta put some bowls in that pen yet, and I'm hoping to get a new bowl for in here, a black one. And this is my uh pen that hasn't calved yet, but there's a lot of shit in here, it's a little small, tight corners, but I mean. Just how she goes so I think I'm gonna end up doing is maybe uh, take out the chute here sometime and move it up there I got a drone shot of the whole yard and everything up here so I got to uh, yeah I'll take it apart move it up there I think I don't really know yet I'm gonna have to work with some people on that but we'll get that figured out when the time comes Right now, we're worried about breeding heifers, so that's how she goes. So today is Monday. We pulled the cedars on Saturday morning, and should be good to go now, I hope. This little shitty gate here, I just use this to crowd the animals into the tub if I need to but I think what I should do is build a maybe I should build a gate right here somewhere so that I can but like I said I'm not going to do too much stuff down here because I really don't know uh, if I'm going to keep the chute here yet so I was going to put a gate in here and I thought well what am I going to do there I don't know fuck it's all you just never really know I think I'm going to take this wall down and make this part of this pen and it'll be nice and big then I can put a couple feeders in here. I think that'll work good because I do have a fair bit of room to the south here yet. So we'll see how that plays out when the time comes. Uh, what else I got to do yet? Make sure those are shut. I checked those already. That should be good. Narrowed up the head gate. Oh yeah, this fucking door was frozen on me the other day. And that sucked. Try it today. Oh, Well, she's a little sticky, but it ain't bad. So that's good. Hi, Maggie. 
So that's good. We got all that going. Took a bunch of bull pictures in here. I don't know if the wife put them up on uh, Facebook or friend's book. Whatever it's called. Oh, that's nice to be frozen. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, what I might do though is I might build a gate for here. That would be awesome. I don't got to fight with this thing. And then just have a pin that goes into the... Uh, Right into there. That'll be nice. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. See how things go. This really works well, though, from bringing the animals up from the feedlot. Bringing them into here. As we load out of here, we do everything out of here. So Then, I don't know if I'm going to maybe just continue on with this wall here. Come out a little ways, like have another alley. And then come into what we will call the shoot pen. Kind of set it up the same as this. I don't know. The only shitty part is with his, uh, uh, like the snow clearing on this stuff. I'm going to leave this gate open, I think. There's a snow clearing because the water always runs down here, but I got lots of gravel. I should just gravel all this down here. We did it once, but uh, the snow melts and seems to want to take it away. So I did from the chute up to the main yard. So that's all done. You can tell by the ground here, she's a little froze yet, which is nice, but uh, it's kind of dirt. So that's how she goes. I'm gonna dig all that out, and then, like I say, I don't know how the how the heck I'm gonna do this here, but hmm, time will tell, I guess. I'll we'll have to think on it. Here's the uh, loader for that new hauling tractor that we got the other one if that guy ever hurries a fuck up and gets it back to me she's a bueller 2795 quick attach it's got just two pins to pop the loader off the frame and uh it's got the hla hookup so it'll fit all my buckets bale spear pallet fork and the whole nine so it's pretty good i bought that from the same guy i got the McCormick from so that worked out good I'd like to get some fenders for this thing too one day That'll make it nice. You won't get all them rooster tails all over your windows, but Anyway, I gotta go see what I got for AI stuff it Should be in the barn I dug a trench here the other day and uh, Drained a bunch of water So that worked out good Right here wasn't much of a trench, but I kicked the straw away and instead of the water going through there, she drained out here. It is frozen here yet, like, you don't get a much sun in here, but I opened the, opened the door up, so we'll see how that goes. What's in there? Oh, a bale. So, like I said, you can see, it's like a skating rink in here. Oh, nice. Just put on the old blades and... Whoa, oh, oh. Yeah, it's got to melt and go out there. I dug that down too. So once it warms up again, and get rid of all this shit. So that'll be good. Then I'm going to, in the spring here, or maybe, I don't know, whenever I can get to the gravel pit and stuff, probably in the summer I think I'll do it. But I'm going to take all this stuff out of here. And it's obviously low right here. So I'm going to build this all up and then make a berm. I think the water comes in because of the... Uh, because of this hill here all right cheer all snow up here and it runs down here see look at it. it comes down here and goes in so i'm thinking i'll build a build this up against these bricks or these whatever these are concrete blocks and go straight out and then that way the water has to go that way i don't know call me dumb but i, I think that might work we'll see oh yeah i forgot to check for my ai stuff <sighs> okay is it in here or is it in the barn? I don't know. Maybe right here. She's got it all set out for me, so we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, the old warmer. Some lube. Fucking Oh, just a big bottle of frozen lube. I'll take that in the house. I think it'll work very good out here. What have we got for uh sheets in here? Hmm. A couple of AI guns. 
Anyway, I guess I'll take this in the house. That's not really good to have frozen lube. Yeah, it should be good. All right, I'll bring you back. I guess when uh, my vet shows up, he's going to help me AI today. The wife's gone on holidays, so we will uh, see you when he gets here. All right, so we got our thermos full of water that's ready to go. Got this guy on the old heater. When she's ready, she'll be about 92 degrees. And uh, got the A-guns, AI guns there. My sheaths, the semen in the tanks, tank. And uh, we're good to go, I guess. Just got to play the waiting game now till the uh, vet gets here, my buddy Curtis. And then, yeah, we're laughing, so hopefully that'll stay fucking cheeching away and getting warmed up. And I think I got everything. I got all the gate open. This is open. I got to close that yet, but I got to go through that way. And, oh, man, we should be good to go, I think. So we're getting there. It's about, I don't know, one thirty right now. Bet said probably about 2 o'clock he'll... Uh, shoot me a message and then we'll go from there so look at that heifer waving her tail around she's getting loose her rudders are filling up she's getting there maybe we're gonna have a couple soon wouldn't that be nice huh that'd be nice yeah always oh, gotta go the wrong way every time you know all the way to the end Get all the bowls worked up. Hole nine. I'm not gonna chain that, I don't think. Might regret it, but see how that goes. Oh, it's to the end though. Never go the right way. Come on, girl. Boys are getting horny now. Woo! Singing. They're singing. I better run. Just because the rats are going the right way. Sometimes bowls are easier to move than these dipshits, but... Oh! Got a couple of responding in the heat here already, so... That's good. Come on! Up! Go through the mud! Up! Up! <coughs> Fart around in the straw. That's a guarantee. Oh, not even too bad today. That's good. Oh no, there they go. Oh, come on, gate. I'm not gonna latch that. I might regret that as well. <coughs> come on. Come on. Up. Man, she's big. Holy fuck. Come on. Come on. Up. Let's go. Come on. Should have had one dog out here. Well, I'll bring you back. This is going to be fun. It's just, it's just uh, not going the direction that, you know. Well, we can't, we can fight it all we want, but 
Till Captain Underpants is out of Ontario. I think we're hooped, right, Sparky? Yeah. You should run. For the Liberals, eh? Liberal leader. He's red and white. Red and white, yeah. Give us your service. So this one is not as toned up. She doesn't feel like she's, this isn't a great mating. That's why the bull goes in after, just in case. You never know, that's pretty good though, Ada. What have we done, six, seven, eight, nine? Eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Stupid dog, get the fuck out of there. It's not for the faint of heart, and you gotta deal with the fuckheads in the comments, too. Well, yeah, that's another thing. I mean, I just, whatever. Um, okay, we're looking for Spartacus. That was in. I think, Cast yeah, the hard one. one. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's good there. Yeah, right yeah, there. Right there. Yeah, there we go. Like in the bottom, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh man, I got left of him. Two in there? there? It looks like there's two more after this. Okay. Yeah, there's... Number one, always the worst one to get back in. There. The reds? Yeah. Or the All one? Her tag is nice and bright. Yeah. My hands are kind of cold. Alright, let's go do some damage. Need one of them need one of them little spring gates in there. See that tag, you guys? Nice and bright orange. Curtis will tell us if it means anything. 
Yeah. It means she's been standing to be ridden by her pen mates. So that's one of the signs of, of heat. But in these timed breeding programs, often you don't actually see heat. And the reason for that is you, uh, you end up ovulating a smaller follicle and a smaller follicle doesn't always produce a lot of estrogen. And so estrogen is what you need to, to show signs of heat. So sometimes those animals that don't show heat, it doesn't mean they're not fertile. It's just a smaller, younger egg being ovulated. And she's bellering, so that's another sign of heat often. That's a good heat, hopefully. Like I said, they'll get covered with a bull too after, so. I'll get my kids to help me run gates and show you all the child labor. <laughs> that character building. Demonetize right there, eh? Farm family. Yeah. Thing is, you never teach them nothing. How the hell are they gonna learn, hey? That's right. It's, I don't understand it, but it's a liberal life we live. Get away from her head, you dick! Come here. Just patiently threading this through the cervix. This one isn't, despite having a good heat, seems to want to get hung up on that last ring. There we go. Through now. And there's a slick. I think they seen that. That would be good if they seen all that slick. Oh yeah. Nice. Now my job is uh, give a CC of this stuff after, which I can't do while I'm videoing. That's what your job is going to be. Stand there like a wall. Put them in there, they'll be mixed. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I know which one. Okay, we'll open it out. Let's get it out. Okay, and you gotta stand here and hold the hole here. Okay. Right here. Cover from here to here. Okay? You wanna come with me, Summer, and bring them? Okay. You gotta put a cleanup bowl in there yet? Yeah. Not that big guy, he's a little big. Bird's a little big, eh? Yeah. We got, a, got the perfect bowl to throw in there. Can you stand right here and make them go to that gate, okay? And out. And out, yeah, they gotta go to Flint. I'll let them out here. Come on, girls. You can't go that way. You can't go that way. There you go. There you go. There you go. Figure it out. Figure it out. Take them along the fence. Okay, move up. 
There we go. Then I'll just go easy. We'll walk them up there and hopefully they'll go in that pen where Flint is. Got your stick, eh? Yeah, I'll bring this one there. We'll try to keep them in, to keep them in a group together and then they'll go good. There's Flint there. Here come it! Let's move up. They're in the alley here. Hup. Hup. There we go. Just like that. There. Hopefully they stay on this side. Tighten all the uh, tighten all the cables here the other day, so it should be good. There we go. Done deal. Other than putting the bulls in here, I guess that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't. Like I said before. 70% of you guys are watching the videos, not subscribed. Get your shit together. Keep a tight ass. We'll see you in the next one.